بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وانعم وعظم على سيدنا وحبيبنا وطبيبنا وشفاعنا وقيدنا وقرت علينا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. So um, ان شاء الله tomorrow and after tomorrow سيدي الشيخ سامر will give us the the the, the gift of um, linking us to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. And there is a book by Imam Nabahani, which is called the 40 of 40. There is something very important that to collect 40 a hadith. There is a, a, a lot of reward of Rasulullah Maybe Sayyidi Shaykh Samir remember the hadith of that, of the reward of having 40. So that's why Imam now we have the 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, right? So the Imam Nabahani, he selected 40 of 40 subjects. And alhamdulillah, we, we um, see this here, we were able to, to pick two, two of the topics, one of the dhikr Allah Azza wa Jal, and one of the shafa'a of Rasulullah Sallallahu And I just want to just mention who is Imam Nabahani, Yusuf bin Nabahani. He was born 1949, and he died 1932. So, um, he was a, 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 a Qadi, he was a judge, he was a poem, he was uh, a deep, and he, uh, what's the deep? Poet. He wrote literature? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he wrote literature. Yeah. And he was a faqih, and he was a Sufi, okay? And um, he was the one who praised Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi and he was the one of, of, of uh, Madah Rasulullah Sallallahu and he was a man of Quran, and he graduated from the Azhar. Um, he was born in, in Palestine, and he, he was a judge in, in Jinni. Subhanallah, now Jinni was happening. It. And then he was the, the head of the, of the court in, in Latiqiya. And then he was the head of the court in, in Quds. And then the, the heads of the court in Lebanon. And he died in Lebanon. And subhanAllah, Sayyidi Sheikh Samir and myself and, and, and Atif, my son, we visited him in, in, in Lebanon, which is great. There's a lot of barakah in him. Now, I tried to get all the, um, all the uh, books that he had. He had a lot of books. So I have four pages of the books that he wrote. And most of them, they're praising Rasulullah Sallallahu and he collected like Sa'adat al-Darayn fi salati al-Nam Sayyidi, Sa'adat al-Darayn. Fi salati ala Sayyidi al-Kawnayn. Fi salati ala Sayyidi al-Kawnayn. The felicity of both, you know, here, here and hereafter by doing salat of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he gathered all the salawat of all the awliya and that all the salawat that been known. And he will tell you the salawat that this is will give you, for example, you can see Rasulullah Sallallahu this will give you for cure and this and so on and so on. It's a, it's a thick book that he collected. And he had a lot of books that he did. And if anybody wants, I have all the books here with me. I mean, a lot. So if one of them is, he collected this 40 or 40. Now, what I learned from Sayyidi Sheikh Samir, which is uh, this hadith that Rasulullah Sallallahu said, ونسب وصهر من قطع يوم القيامة إلا سببي ونسبي وصهري. On the day of judgment, all the ways and connection been cut. On the day of judgment, except the ways and connection to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. And all the family's lineage is cut on the day of judgment, except that the lineage to Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. And all the marriage to family is cut on the day of judgment, except the marriage to the family of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. By this, we have the option of to have a Sabab. And the sabab can be one of several things. Like the sabab can be loving Rasulullah Sallallahu that's a sabab. It will be on the day of judgment, you will see it. Doing Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a sabab. Now, link yourself through hearing a hadith from your Shaykh, from his Shaykh, from his Shaykh, from his Shaykh, up to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi is another sabab. So you already have a connection. On the day of judgment, you'll come and say, yes, I have this Link to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That will not be cut. That's why the people of Quran, they are the highest of, of people, the Ahlullah, because why? He got his Quran from his Shaykh, from his Shaykh, from 
the Sahabi who made the, the, the Quran from Rasulullah from Sayyidina Jibreel, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the link of the Quran, the Senant. So inshallah, we are lucky in this um, weekend to, uh, to all of us to hear uh, from Sayyid Sheikh Samir who have the ijazah from all the ahadiths of Imam Nabahani. Okay? And uh, uh, this, this ijazah will give us link to his Sheikh, to his, his Sheikh, and goes to Rasulullah Sallallahu And the two topics that have yani, been selected to, to this weekend, from one side is Dhikrullah Azawajal. Sayyid Sheikh Samir always give us this hadith that, that he remind us, all of us, to uh, establish a connection between you and Allah by two things. By doing a lot of dhikr, of, uh, dhikr Allah kathiran, doing a lot of dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and by the sadaqa sirra wa laniyatan, by doing charity in the public and hidden. These two things, as Rasulullah told us, that thus you establish a connection between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the, the result of it is tujbaru wa tunsaru wa tuqaku. All the broken things in your life will be fixed. You get victory, and then you get sustenance, your rizq, by doing this. So one of these books is the Dhikrullah, and you will see the 40 hadiths that Imam Nabahani selected of the virtue of the, of the mentioning, on, on, on Dhikrullah. The other one is what goes in our heart to please our heart, that we, we have a joy in it in this dunya and the akhirah, is the shafa'a of Rasulullah the shafa'a, and this is where all the creation they wish to get the shafa'a, and this ummah get the maximum of this shafa'a. So, alhamdulillah, this I just wanted to, to share this with everybody, inshallah, and we'll get you, Sayyidi Sheikh Samir, to give us his whatever he wants to share with us. Your Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, alhamdulillahi hamdan yuafi ni'ama wa yukafi'u mazida. Ya Rabbana laka alhamdu kama yanbaghi li jalali wajihika wa azimi sultanik. Subhanaka la nuhsi sana an alayka anta kama athnayta ala nafsik. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilik. The type of intercession, you know, differs from one one to and to another you know and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam hold all of them you know and ha has been specialized you know in some of them you know uh, uh, and uh, in sahih muslim you know the narrated by ubay ibn kaab that uh, uh, a person you know has different qira and another person has different qira and he brought them to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said uh, to to first one you know uh, recite quran you know and he recited the, the same recitation you know and uh, he he ask the, the other one to, to recite Quran and he recite the same recitation. Uh, Ubay ibn Ka'ab, uh, he, he's honest man, you know, truthful man, you know, he said, فَدَاخَلَنِ مِنَ الشَّكْ وَلَا يَسَّلْ الْجَاهِلِيَةِ That's meaning he has doubt, you know, not similar to, to today's, you know, of Jahiliya. And the Prophet وسلم, did know the so, and he pushed him, you know, in uh, hard, you know, in his chest, you know, and or breast, you know, and uh, 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 he he became sweaty, you know, in a way, Kaab, uh, as if he is looking to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and he he said, Ya Ubay. I, I have uh, I have a commanded I have commanded you know to to uh, make, make uh, my nation you know recite on one one letter you know and uh, he uh, said Namikail he said get more you know uh, and uh, uh, he he the the, the Jibril, you know, he he was commanded him you know and uh, he he returned back you know to. Uh, commanding me to, to recite on two letters, you know, and uh, Sayyidina Mikhail, he said, you know, more, more and more, and uh, the third time, you know, he came with seven letters, you know, and uh, uh, I, I said, Allah ma'afir li ummati, uh, wa laka bi 
اللي ردت ان ردتني ها دعوة مستجابة that's mean you know uh, whenever you, you send سيدنا جبريل to Allah سبحانه وتعالى you have uh, accepted supplication you know and uh, he said صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم في لأمتي اللهم في لأمتي and uh, he postponed the third one you know to, till the day you know uh, في يوم يرغب إليه الخلائق وكلهم حتى إبراهيم that's mean you know uh, this, uh, this is the greatest you know شفاعة and uh, this uh, limited to the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, no, no other prophets you know they're not you know uh, to, to, to start you know this شفاعة and uh, they know the, the eventual event you know of it you know uh, people you know of that maqam you know they know the event you know of it and the, and the result you know of it you know that they will go to hellfire you know be, because of of uh, uh, horrified you know uh, position you know they they were not able uh, and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he postponed the, the, the third dua you know to, to that particular day you know uh, in another word you know uh, the, the special intercession, you know, uh, you, you may uh, share, you know, with the Prophet وسلم, the others, you know, it's special, you know, for the Prophet وسلم, and the easiest one, in my view, uh, the, to make uh, ten, ten salawat ala nabi sallallahu in the morning and in the evening, uh, that's mean, you know, uh, uh, he is going to intercede for you uh, and uh, it's written you know in Masjid Nabawi Sharif Shafa'ati Lahil Kabair Mun Ummati that the people you know who commit enormities you know uh, to, to be honest with you my mind you know doesn't fit you know such a thing you know but the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has established you know and Imam Nawawi he did answer you know uh, this you know when you ask the Prophet Sallallahu intercession you know not necessary to be uh, one commit on air enormity you know uh, because uh, the, uh, we have higher rank you know in that intercession you know of that regard what's your relationship with Imam Nabahani? yeah uh, I I don't have a specific, you know, relationship, you know, but but uh, the books, you know, of Imam Nabhani, uh, he, he collected, you know, uh, the, the, the poem, you know, that the Prophet ﷺ was praised, you know, and the, the, the other type, not poem, you know, uh, which was praised, you know, uh, I, I, at him, you know, uh, toward him, you know, and uh, he, he, both of them, you know, uh, have a strong, very strong connection with the Prophet ﷺ. Personally, I feel Imam Nabhani has uh, one of the strongest connection, you know, of the Prophet ﷺ, and he has very strong, you know, connection with the awliya, you know, uh, in his time, you know, uh, that's, uh, that's make him, you know, and w w when he, uh, according to Abu Atif, you know, uh, was judge, you know, uh, he was uh, assigned, you know, to, to be, be, because uh, because our sheikh, you know, taught us, you know, of that uh, uh, procedure. Yeah, I mean, to, to be tough just to get the right tajweed and the right uh, so on? Yes, yes, uh -huh. because uh, the, the uh, personally, you know, I, I don't, Imagine, you know, the wording of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be among us, you know, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made it available, you know. So the hadith that mentioned that, uh, it's a long hadith that people in the, in the battlefield and they, they need victory and said, anybody who have seen, who have seen, who have seen, who have seen Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and person will say, I have seen, I have seen, I have seen Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and by that they get victory. So that not Rasidi, does it goes until now? Let's hope, you know, such a thing, you know, 
if in the, the, the apparent, you know, uh, statement, you know, of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it goes, you know, for, for three or four generations, you know, you have uh, cont controversy, you know, by the narrators. There is a, a, a Senate by an action. Like there is a, a Senate by Rasulullah I don't remember the exact word, Ya Ali man safahani wa shabakani. Is that uh, it could, uh, this, this is we call you know in Mustalah you know, Hadith Musalsal, you know, and, and I haven't studied the, such a Hadith. But uh, other Musalsal city that you have, it, it goes until the Day of Judgment, right? It's Musalsal, Awal Bar Rahmal, Awal so on. المسلسل بالأولية ended you know by سفيان بن عيينة and uh, you name it. No. To my knowledge, you know he, he was not you know but, but uh, he gained Islamic knowledge. For, uh, he went to Azhar. He went to Azhar. time personally i don't know them you know but, but uh, perhaps uh, s someone you know t they, they, he knows them or she knows yeah definitely because he died 1932 yeah so he was born 89 so uh, probably the family is still there yeah. say the, what, what's your advice for all of us we're going to attend tomorrow the session and the first book is the liquor and the second one shafa'a what should we try to 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 get in our heart from this. Feel the importance, you know, of such a thing, you know, and make salawat, you know, on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they, they used to say that Imam Nabahani, if I'm not mistaken, he, he was Sultan Al-Ashiqin, is that right? Sultan Al-Ashiqin is Ibn Al-Farid. Ibn Al-Farid. Is there any luck up to Imam Nabahani? Not that I know of. Why he emphasized, he, he collected all this ahadith like Sa'adat al Daray in Fisraz, Sayyid Kaudin? Because he, he was a poet, you know, and he collected, you know, uh, praising the Prophet وسلم, in all Arabic lang languages, you know, and letters. MashaAllah. Anybody have a Personally, you know, I, I see Imam Nawawi, the, the collection, you know, of 40 hadiths, you know, uh, I consider them, you know, the, these 40 hadiths, you know, as a rule, you know, of uh, of something, you know, rule of fuqah, rule, rule of love, or you name it, you know, uh, and uh, uh, I admire, you know, the collection, you know, of Imam Nawawi. Yeah, I, mean, I gave them a hard time, you know, and and because my 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 trial, you know, it, it did see, you know, some people, you know, who carry Quran, you know, and namely in the UK, you know, and he 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 made made med, you know, of mad uh, mufassil, uh, you know, and that particular carry, you know, he doesn't make mad mufassil. <laughs> Personally, you know, rewrite hafiz is the simple one, you know, and and has, you know, uh, uh, the least rules, you know, and uh, I I think people, you know, they go to to worship, you know, worship, you know, is the most difficult one, you know, after that. On the sister side. 
Okay. Here, I'm coming to you, brother. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. I have a you guys. Confusion is, say you tarif asked a question that uh, people who have seen Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and who has seen that person, that person and the chain, and whenever they went into fight, they will get victory, inshallah. Now the question is, you guys got me confused. Does that, uh, you know, the the salsal or the chain, if the chain is broken, then what? Uh, you know, they said if somebody has a sanad in reading, uh, reciting Quran, or be a scholar of hadith, does he... Uh, you know, uh, uh, is it equivalent to the person who has seen Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The, so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, you know, we, we should read the Husn al min Husn al Ibadah, that we have good thought, you know, about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and this is part, you know, of Husn al Ibadah, but, but, uh, I, I think that chain, you know, is, is going to, to make it more, more, more uh, uh, emphasized, you know. I'm no fighting. I'm, I'm still not clear. So does the, the person who has a sanad of uh, hadith or Quran, does he go into a battle and the victory comes? Or is just it ended when the last person who saw the person who saw his Muhammad relation was, uh, let's say, let's put this word, you know, his relation with Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will be much better, you know. No, no fighting, you know, no, nothing, you know, in, in, in battles. Yeah, already. Yeah, the of the, of the victory, the battle is only seen by the eye. It's okay. By the, by the, okay. Confusion. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Sisters? Brothers? Just raise your hand and I'll come with the mic to you. Inshallah. Oh, sorry. No, go. Uh, my my follow-up question, you can go first, though. Not that I know of. His tariqa, you know, love of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sheikh al-Akbar is called the Sultan al-Arifin. Yani, he is uh, very recognized, you know, about his knowledge, you know, in Allah subhanahu wa taala. Whereas in Nabhani, I I don't see it, see such a thing. People, people, you know, I know some awliya, you know, who, who used to take care, you know, of Imam Nabhani. Um, my follow-up question is for memorizing Quran, not so much like the actual strategy of repeating ayahs or such, but in terms of spiritually, do you have advice for someone who's trying to complete? And I advise, it? you know, Salat al-Hafz al-Quran, which is mentioned, you know, by Imam Tirmizi and Mustadrak al-Hakim. And is that just similar to Qiyam al-Layl, where it's just two rakahs, two rakahs, two rakahs? You have controversial, you know, about two rakahs or four rakahs. And you have spe specific dua after it, you know, uh, which uh, for, for current life, you know, I see it, you know, uh, quite working. And the dua, the name of the dua would be? Dua, dua, hafz al-Quran, salat hafz al-Quran, and dua after that, you know, after you pray for rak'ahs, you know, you make dua. Jazakallah. Yani, uh, I, I, I see it, you know, each point, you know, or, or each sentence, you know, of it, you know, uh, has a practical point, you know, of, uh, for example, you know, uh, we, we waste that, that time, you know, uh, by, by internet, you know, and you name it, you know, and, uh, 
ورزق قلبي حفظ كتابك that's mean you know uh, the, the, uh, and this is, has been illustrated you know, by Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan if you know the wording you know of Allah we are not going to feel our stomach you know full you know of, of wording of Allah Hafiz of Quran and Hafiz of Hadith together. Is is still the current state of uh, Ummah like that, Sayyidi, or we still consider? I read, you know, uh, about Abu al-Hasan al-Husari, he, he mentioned, you know, in Ghayat al-Nihaya, uh, written by Ibn al-Jazari, Tabaqat al-Qurra, you know, his, his third sheikh, you know, he has uh, repeated, you know, 90 times, you know, the, the, the seven qiraat, you know. Personally, I don't, I don't feel as such. 9-0. Yani basically it's a matter you know of training. Say uh, for intercession, uh, some people now think that if you need um, like a wasta, if you need uh, if you need something in the government and operation, and and you need someone you know inside or whatever, it's a sign of corruption. How do we uh, not think of it that way and think of intercession as something that's naturally by Allah, he designed it that way and we need it and without it, there is no salvation without that intercession. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about Sayyidina Isa in his Quran, wajiha fi dunya wal akhira. That's mean, you know, we should know that the, the, the person, you know, the, the, and the examples, you know, in this life, you know, uh, if we don't know that that person, you know, or uh, you know, you, you know, uh, you don't know the, the importance of that particular person, you know, in, in, in the so and so, you know, establishment, you know, and we are, uh, uh, personally, we are all corrupted. See, is there a verse that said, it, uh, <laughs> No, I, I mentioned, you know, Sayyidina Isa, Wajiha fi dunya wal akhira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his wajah never forget, you know, uh, such a person. Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told, said to the Sahaba in the hadith, Ahibu Allah bi kulli qulubikum. Uh, uh, what's that mean, see? This means, you know, uh, a person, you know, ha has a room, you know, in his heart, you know, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, you know, uh, what's related to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala should be loved. So, the verse, What's the wasila huna? Wasila, wasita, I think, you know, intercession. So is that mean our Habib Sallallahu Alaihi No, not necessary, because the, the, in, in some ahadith, you know, shafa'at al-anbiya wa shafa'at al-malaika wa shafa'at al-ulama. Would the Quran be wasila also? And the Quran is going to one of the wasila. No, Consider a prophet will have a wasila for the generation, three generations like that, Sayyidi. To, to, to best, you know, of my knowledge, you know, that, that, that it was mentioned, you know, in the prophetic you know, hadith, you know, that uh, Hafiz al-Quran is going to, to make intercession for, for ten of persons, you know, all of them, they used to, to go to hellfire. Assalamu alaikum. So just for the just for clarity, possibly going forward, whenever you use Arabic terminology, maybe for people who are newer to the Dean, could you explain what that terminology means and the importance of it? I'm not necessarily new to the Dean, but I've recommended this class for other people to tune in who are new. So just for the clarity of newer Muslims, could you clarify what that Arabic terminology means, the importance of it? and what it should mean to them specifically, just going forward whenever you use it. Uh, 
I think it's very important, you know, to know 40 hadiths, you know, of uh, of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, another thing about the 40. 40 is chosen for most of the hadith, the like collections are of 40, 40, 40. What is the significance of 40, Sayyidi? This has been mentioned, you know, uh, Imam Nawawi, he said, you know, even though this hadith is da'if, you know, uh, uh, that's mean weak, you know, but, but, but uh, in fada'il a'mal, that's mean, you know, uh, when you have a job, you know, that, that uh, you may use that such a hadith. So 14 number has a significance, I think, for the hadith collection? Uh, he, he, he mentioned sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this in weak hadith. Allahu Akbar. Jazakallah khaiz. Yes. Bismillah, Sayyidi. Sayyidi, um, Sheikh Samar, um, uh, it wasn't until uh, some time as a Muslim that um, I learned or, you know, I saw people um, <clears throat> uh, doing a lot of salawat. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't know what it was. Uh, you know, is it a very important thing in Islam or not? Or so, <clears throat> anyways, um, you know, they would focus and teach me, uh, you know, basic, good, good basics. Um, but I'm wondering. Um, <clears throat> You know, because we see things like uh, right now in, in, in Gaza, they say like, you know, there's many who fall there. And so maybe we see some of uh, the good that's happening because all, those are people of Quran. And maybe that's, you know, s spreading Islam around the world, something like that, you know, I don't know. But... W in America, maybe we don't have a lot of salawat. So maybe you can tell us something, uh, what you think, how, how the salawat can benefit us. Because you are busy in this life, you know. And uh, this, this is, you know, has been in instructed by the Prophet sallallahu That's mean, you know, to abstain, you know, dunya, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to love you and uh, to abstain whatever, you know, in the hands, you know, of people, you know, the, the, the people who love you. Benefit, firstly, you know, in Quran, plenty of dhikr, you know, has been mentioned, you know, you hardly ever, you know, see anything, you know, that that the Quran, you know, except dhikr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have plenty, you know, and you plenty of salawat, you know, in some hadith, you know, aksiru min salati alayhi yawm al jumu'ah. Plenty, have a plenty. Jummah in particular, Sayyidi, the importance of the Jummah, Sayyidi, or because of the Salawat will be more accepted in Jummah? The, the beginning, you know, of uh, Hadith, you know, the importance of Jummah. And some narration, you know, that uh, uh, the, 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 the deeds, you know, will be exposed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For reading a word every day of Quran, are there surahs that you suggest and are there particular times you suggest us to read them? Uh, personally, I suggest you know that, that the one is closer to your heart. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Alaikum salam. I want to continue on the uh, Hafiz, uh, Hafiz al Quran uh, that you mentioned. Um, is there a specific time recommended for that? 
it differs okay. from one person you know to another you know and i i think the specific time you know uh, because uh, the, the the people they find you know uh, it's easy to to have the quran you know but, but they f found you know it's difficult you know to to keep up you know uh, w w with with such uh, amount you know of quran you know and night prayer you know i suggest i suggest you know such <laughs> Sayyidi, a question on the Vitr prayer, Sayyidi. So, um, is it after Isha, do we, uh, some of the people finish their Vitr uh, Im immediately. Some of them take that to the end of the uh, night. Uh, can in between, is there any, is there any um, uh, Nawafil can be prayed or it is not recommended? No, it's recommended, you know, because Imam Al Ghazali considered, you know, after thing, uh, after Isha prayer, whatever you pray, you know, it's night, it's considered, you know, as not night prayer. Even if you pray, what's up? Still, 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 still. <coughs> yes, yes. Assalamualaikum. Um, what if you pray Isha and then you wait till the end in the night and then you pray the Hajjah and then wait there? Like, is that praying the like praying the entire night? Is that the reward? It differs, you know, between Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar because Sayyidina Umar he used to to pray, you know, at the end, you know, of the Hajj uh, of. Uh, we don't call tahajjud, you know. Uh, tahajjud is uh, by the, by Arabic definition, you know, the one who wake up, you know, night prayer. We call we call it, you know, and it differs, you know, between Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar. So if you if you go back to sleep after Isha, then you wake up you know for tahajjud you know uh, uh, the the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam highly recommended you know uh, to to make that the very last you know rak'ahs you know of water you know uh, on that regard okay thank you because they say now Abu Bakr Siddiq, he, he used to pray with her, you know, before sleeping, you know, said now Omar, delay it t till the end, you know, of the night, you know, and uh, the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, admired both, both of them, you know, he, he said, uh, uh, this, say now Abu Bakr, that's mean, you know, to be in safe side, you know, and uh, uh, he told Sayyid Omar al Khattab that Akhasta bil what that's mean, you know, you use, you know, you str your strength. Assalamu alaikum, Sidi. I have a question back on the Shafa'a or the intercession of the Prophet Sallallahu Is the intercession um, for the entire Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu even for someone that maybe did not honor or love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the way it is recommended in the religion? This, you know, that for the entire creation, you know, uh, and humankind, you know, uh, the, the, the prophet, is, is, this is special for him, you know, and the, then, you know, you have type, you know, of intercession, you know, uh, according, according. Sorry. alaikum, Sayyidi. The intercession of the Prophet وسلم, is it the same for every Muslim or will certain people have a special intercession? 
you, you have special intercession, you know, as I illustrated, you know, to, to, to make salawat on the Prophet Sallallahu ten times, you know, in the morning and ten times in the evening. Special intercession. And uh, in another hadith is uh, the intercession, you know, will be to, to the one perform, you know, enormities. Jazakallah khair. Sister's See, if the if the Muslim, if if they're not of the same um, um, jama'a, for someone to believe in the Prophet in the same way, if he's as of today, if he's considered outside of Ahlul Sunnah al Jama'a, is that intercession for all of the sects of of Islam or specific to the sect? A person, you know, so so, so the prophets heard the prophet sallallahu say wa alaykum salam for for uh, not ahlu sunnah or jama'ah and you name it, you know, and uh, this I can I cannot, you know, on on my seat, you know, to to limit the intercession or no of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Alaikum. Sheikh, can you give us some nasiha, some advice as we're in the uh, month of Rajab, um, any type of um, preparation as we get ready for Ramadan? Today is the first night of Rajab. Uh, inshallah, any nasiha, anything that we can do so we can. Nasiha was given, you know, to, to feel the importance, you know, of get connection you know, to the Prophet. Assalamu alaikum, Sayyidi. Alaikum assalam. Um, if I want to start learning about hadith, uh, where's a good place to start? Should I start by reading like Sahih Bukhari or Sahih Muslim, like a big book, or should I start reading smaller books like 40 hadith compilation? It's a matter, you know, of training, you know, and no, no one, you know, you, ha you have the, the narrators, you know, uh, the knowledge of narrators, you know, it's, it's a ma matter of training. Exactly. Assalamu alaikum again. Alaikum as uh, Everybody. Uh, we are in the age of shortcuts. Everybody talks about intercession of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in my opinion, I think this is we are looking for a get out of jail card. So would you explain that, that, you know, there are, there are no get out of jail card if you want Rasulullah Akeem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's intercession. You have to do salawat. You have to say five prayers and do the fard. And then you look at the get out of jail card. So I would like for you to, uh, you know, throw a little I'm light. I'm sorry, on. you know, to, 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 to differ with you about that, you know, the Prophet ﷺ consider all of them, they are his nation, you know. Yeah, correct. Yeah. And uh, he, he intercedes for all creation. Yes, yes. I, I, I personally, you know, I believe in such a thing, you know. So, is what you're saying for us as Muslims to do our absolute best to live up to the standards and ethics that Islam provides for us? So that as long as you know, as we are alive, you know, we, we should limit ourselves, you know, to to the command, you know, and prohibition, you know, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is absolute. No one has the right, you know, to 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 uh, argue with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. As long as we are alive, you know, we are limited ourselves, you know, to to the commands, you know, and prohibitions, you know. Uh, 
Um, assalamu alaikum. Um, in reference to what the Ahi said about how to start learning about hadith, right? Whether to use like a big book like Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari. Um, in in terms of not necessarily choosing a narrator or a narration, but from your opinion, what which I guess narrators or narrations are the least, um, let's say, authentic or agreed upon or the chain of narration and teaching and scholarship has been weakened or damaged, what should we avoid? Basically, a lot of chains, you know, uh, and uh, I I call it art, you know, of narration, you know, and uh, and uh, Imam Malik he said, you know, uh, these columns, you know, the 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 the, the old mosque, you know, uh, that that uh, that pain, uh, that has been, you know. If they are responsible for no for ma for a huge amount of money, they they are going to be as such, you know. But but the art of narration is not there. And uh, personally, you know, I I have a clinic, you know, and uh, some someone bring three stories, you know, and they and the, uh, personally, I don't uh, feel that they intended, you know, to to lie, you know, but 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 the, but they don't have the art of narration. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum. By the way, you know, so someone criticized Imam Bukhari, and, and within 10 minutes, you know, he has t 10 mistakes, you know, in, in the narration. Uh, the sir over there said that, um, and you deferred with him, and you said that the intercession is for every, for, for this nation. So if we are going to believe this, that the Holy Prophet is going to intercede for us, so why will we make efforts in this dunya? Because we know that we are going Be Because uh, Imam Nawawi he illustrated, you know, not necessary to, to have intercession to be uh, co commit, you know, enormities, because the high people, you know, uh, they have intercession, you know, even though. Um, I did not understand. Okay, explain please for her. <laughs> so there is different type of intercession. Some people with the judgment, they need intercession to um, reduce their punishment. Some people, they need intercession to really be able to enter paradise. And there is the special people where intercession will get them in the higher level and higher level and higher level. There's intercession to be with Rasulullah There's intercession when we sit to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's all degrees that, a lot of degrees that you might get intercession depend on your relation with Rasulullah and your closeness. But if somebody is really far and he did a, a kabair, a big sense, then Rasulullah will take care of him. But it's not like the one who is like doing good deeds. Allahu alam. Good. Assalamu alaikum, Sayyidi. Uh, Afwan, I actually just wanted to offer, possibly, you, you can, uh, you will reflect if this is a, a good suggestion about the questions around a hadith. We went through the Al-Bayquniyah with you, which is Akhlaqir, and I, I say that for myself, I really benefited a lot from that program, uh, going back through the notes, and you, you, you begin to humble yourself to the tradition of Hadith by uh, understanding how vast it really is, you know, and uh, just to learn about the levels of uh, authenticity and what each level means and what le each level entails uh, perhaps is more important than being advised uh, about a particular collection of hadith to begin 
What do you think, Sadie? I I think this uh, this uh, science, you know, of hadith, you know, same as as uh, any science, you know, the one who is experienced, you know, is is going to have, you know, much more knowledge, you know, that than than the person. And by Qunia, by the way, you know, it's the, the least, you know, uh, text, you know, uh, used, you know, for mustalah. Inshallah, if there is like one or two more questions, inshallah, we'll close, inshallah. I have one quick question. I've heard that there um, are multiple gradings of hadith and different uh, frameworks have been established to grade them. Could you go through the grades quickly or maybe a couple of the grades and explain um, how they're used in fiqh or in creating rulings? It's you uh, authentic you know, hadith, you know, it's uh, the, to the top, you know, and weak hadith, you know, is the least, you know, amount, you know, of hadith. By weak hadith, can you still benefit from them? Like, are you still allowed to? Oh, are you still allowed to benefit from weak hadith? Like, take knowledge from it and use it in your life. The weak hadith, you know, you you may, may, may you know for for the deeds, you know. Fadail al Amal, you know, that they called favorite, you know, uh, deeds, you know, you, 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 you may use the weak hadith, you know, uh, and uh, you, uh, the, the second point, you know, you, you learn that this is weak, you know, according to the scholars. For uh, tomorrow, inshallah. Um, Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair, Sayyidi.